Hi everybody, welcome back to Dave's Open Range. Today we're going to replace a cassette on a mountain bike. It's a brand new cassette obviously. The uh, old one has, I believe, worn out. I've been skipping gears and I do this about every year or maybe every other year. Depending on the quality of the cassette, the, metals, the metal can be soft and wear out quicker than a high high end one. This is a mid mid quality Shimano 9 speed cassette about $30 or so. Let me uh, move the camera and I'll give you a quick tour of what I'm talking about on the bike itself. All right, this is my uh, GT Karakoram 1.0. It's got a lot of miles, a lot of use. It's about seven years old, uh, old cassette. So about every year I replace the drivetrain. So the crank, not, not necessarily the crank, but the uh, both chain rings, or at least the small one, the chain itself, and the cassette tends to wear out. So, at the moment, uh, the chain rings are pretty new. The cassette's not. I believe it's worn out. This bike came with Shimano Alivio, which is pretty low end, and it's fine, but it's pretty much all upgraded to Diore at the moment. So, um, like I said, drivetrain switch about every year, because that's, that's what gets the abuse, and especially with a mountain bike with the sand and the grit, you're pretty much grinding off a little bit of metal as you uh, as you ride that. So let's get the uh, the wheel off and the cassette change. It's a relatively quick job, not complicated. Just takes a tiny bit of knowledge and a unique tool or two. So let's get into that. Okay, let's get into taking the cassette off. Like I was saying, this. This bike happens to be kind of my foul weather bike, so it gets used in all weather. Let's just take the uh, quick release skewer out. This bike's old enough to not have a through axle. A lot of newer ones do. Let's take the uh, skewer out. Now, you, what you have to do is take the lock ring off, which will allow you to take the whole cassette off of the, the axle. And it's, uh, it's lefty-loosey, as usual, but you can't just turn the lock ring because the whole cassette will turn. So. Uh, absolute must. It'd be almost impossible to do this job without this tool. It's called a chain whip. This happens to be a really old one, but it fits. The chain is just not quite the right size, so you put that on whatever gear you can fit it on, and that allows you to hold the cassette as you take a lock ring tool and slip that in into the splines, and you can loosen that lock ring. And as the lock ring unthreads, take, take that chain whip back off. Lock ring comes off. The whole cassette should come right off. Easy as that. And then while the, while the uh, cassette is off, I check the, the bearings and the, the free hub body. That all seems fine. So let's just put the new one right on there. New cassette, it comes in, sometimes it's uh, more taken apart than this one happens to be, so there, you just have to not mix things up and get them in the wrong order. The new cassette has um, splines, one of which is a different size, it's, it's wider, and the, the free hub body here has one wide one, so you sort of can't put it on wrong, it's not possible, I think. That goes on, and then there's three other pieces here, so you just have to make sure you put them on in the right order and again you sort of can't put it on wrong unless you get something backwards but because of that one wider spline it sort of lines itself up so that's the smaller smallest one get it on Be a little stubborn rotate it around until it seats down like okay it's being a little stubborn. I can't. There we go. All right. So, comes with a new lock ring, and there's plenty of grease on there now, just from the older one. So I don't need to grease that up. So, righty tighty. And because you'll be tightening it in the orientation of the chain ring, you know, the drive train catching on itself, you don't need that chain whip again to hold the cassette. So. Lock ring tool back in. I don't uh, torque that to any specific uh, spec. Just make it tight 
and it's done. So we'll slip the slip up, 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 slip the skewer back in there, and we'll put that on. And I am going to not have gears that skip. If there's one thing that makes riding a bike irritating, it's having gears that are skipping around on you. What essentially has happened is the it's a brand new chain, but the cassette I just talk off, took off was maybe two years old, so the 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 chain is just not made it appropriately with the gears. So new cassette, that chain's only a couple months old. I'm sure we'll be good to go. And, and that's it for uh, for this one. That's uh, we're in the bike shop today. We've got uh, other bikes to work on. We've got another mountain bike, a full suspension. This one's a hardtail. My full suspension's a uh, Niner Jet 9 aluminum frame. Love it a lot. We'll be working on that uh, some other time. I've also got uh, a uh, a tubeless tubeless flat the other day. So we'll be making a video on that. So that's it for now, and uh, we'll see you again next time on Dave's Open Range.